Hey everyone, this is Gleb, and in the next couple of videos I want to show the side each command, which is kind of a nice command, and also how to customize its behavior, and especially how to improve its behavior so it's more natural. For example, I will use this little table. Every time you click on a button in the same row, it reveals a random number, and our goal will be to solve the iteration and click on the buttons until we get to number 7. Notice there is a delay between click and revealing the number and so on. And every time you rerun, the numbers are different. Okay, so the first thing, let's just click all the numbers. So we want to get from the table all the buttons and, well, we get the button, right? And how do we click on it? We wrap it in Cypress I wrap command and we click. So now we just quickly click on this, right? That's typical uh, psi each command behavior. What if we want to actually wait for the number to be re revealed before we click on the next button? Well, imagine you click and then you are in a table row, right? So when you click on the button, you want to go up to the cell, up to the row, and then find the cell to the number. So here's what you can do. Once you click, you can say go to the parent, go to the parent again, now you're in a row, and find the element that is a table cell that contains a number. Okay, now notice this naturally or by itself waits for the number to be revealed, and then it clicks on the next element. Well, what if you want to print that number or get it somehow? Once you found the cell, invoke the text, and you will get the text from that element, and then you have it, and for example, you can log it and say number is, and then pass. So now we nicely iterate over all the buttons, we wait for the number, we get the number, and in the next videos I'll show how to actually check if the number is 7 and stop iterating if the number is 7.